Since the establishment of Ciji Foundation, Master Zhengyan has emphasized the importance of integrating the Buddha's teachings into our daily lives. In today's Ciji's 50th anniversary series report, we'll meet one Ciji volunteer, Huang Mei Jing, who has been fulfilling her filial duties after learning of Buddhist teachings. In addition, we'll look at how Ciji volunteers around the world reach out to those who suffer, applying Buddhist principles in their daily conduct. These two people are actually a mother-in-law and her daughter-in-law. Having been married for more than 30 years, Huang Mei Jing has stayed by the side of her mother-in-law despite the onset of her dementia, which has worsened over the past five years. Later on, she began to have delusions, so our family relationship became very complicated. When others felt helpless about a situation, Huang made a decision she has never regretted. My mother-in-law should not spend the rest of her life like this. She should still be able to enjoy life in old age. So I brought her here, and every day I take care of her with all my love and strength. I listen to the Master's teachings. One cannot wait to fulfill filial duties. Huang is fulfilling her filial duties because of the Buddhist principles she learned. To live out Buddhist teachings, one should reach out to those who suffer. At the refugee camp in Serbia, where the temperature is close to zero degrees Celsius, people are handing out winter jackets, fulfilling the basic needs of refugees. The refugees have been on treacherous journeys and they do not know how to move forward. They still have to wait for permission from other countries. I think they must feel lonely and helpless. Therefore, I think that people in Taiwan are very fortunate. In addition, one can also cook for people who are starving. In the aftermath of earthquakes in Kumamoto in 2016, these volunteers are showing compassion by helping out and thereby following Buddhist teachings. I have come to help cook hot foods. I help cut onions, cabbage and eggplant. For Japanese people to accept instant rice, we turn it into something they are used to eating, rice balls. After they show an interest in trying it, I hope they can find it acceptable. Putting oneself in other people's shoes and giving without asking for anything in return is another way to live out Buddhist teachings. Then, at a forgotten corner, people are reaching out to help clean the home of a seriously ill father and his daughter. Such acts of compassion are also a way to enact Buddhist teachings. 
After they came to clean up, I feel very relaxed and happy. I feel very joyful being able to do something for the care recipients. Seeing many Tsuji brothers and sisters work together, I felt the strength of kindness. Putting love into action and fulfilling filial duties inspire gratitude in both the recipients as well as the caregivers. If we can illuminate the light of love in our hearts, we can broaden our scope and live out the Buddhist teachings to benefit others.